What's up guys, welcome back to Deck Tech for Decks, I'm your host Caleb. If you want to support me, you can now follow me on Patreon. Not only is it the best way to support the channel, but additionally, you'll get more say in what decks I cover. Special shout out to my high contributing patrons, Newsome, you rock. Now let's get into today's video, and I think I'm going to call this series um, Quick Maths and Misplays, because that's normally what I do, but I'm going to be playtesting my Corvold list. Now I never even built this Corvold list, it was kind of a challenge I had with my Discord. I was like, hey, let's all build Corvold decks. The rolls are no fast mana and uh yeah let's see who can make the best corvold list with again no fast mana so that kind of puts it at the highest end of casual because it's kind of busted so i've made some claims about this deck winning turn four turn five at the latest and it's kind of busted so i never even built it kind of tortured my uh discord with it for a couple games and then threw it on the shelf so some people wanted to see me play test that goldfish it so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be showcasing my most broken casual corvold build if you want to call it that so without further ado oh wait one more thing um leave in the comments down below any of my deck lists you want me to goldfish or play test it's the same thing i just know some people don't know what goldfishing means because i'm always looking for you know more things to play test i built them all i can play test them all pretty adequately so yeah again if there's just a build you've always wanted to see me play go ahead and i will goldfish it we'll get a couple goldfish sessions in and uh yeah you can see it always looking for more content and uh yeah i'm really enjoying this series so without further ado let's get into it Okay, and without further ado, let's get into this playtest. Right off the bat, um, Entomb, Saw in Half, Ragavan. We're gonna we're gonna keep this. Okay, let's play test this. Let's draw a card. F it. We'll throw out a Ragavan turn one. Seems like a good play. Next turn. Here, swing with Ragavan. That's gonna get us a treasure token. There you are. Now we don't get the other value off of Ragavan, but that's fine. This guy's just hopefully gonna get us into our Corvold faster. We're gonna cast in Tomb here. Now with this deck, what you wanna grab is you wanna grab your, um, where is it? Old Knobbone. I thought I saw him. I have my keyboard to the side so this mic can be here and I just need my mouse. So excuse me while I look for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, at the bottom. Cool, right? All right, we'll put that in um, the graveyard, and then we will go to our turn three. Boom. Uh -huh. See, and there's Victimize. So now all we have to do is, yeah, choose graveyard, sacrifice a creature. So we have a few options here. We're going to swing in with Ragavan to get another treasure token regardless. Yeah, okay, this works. Um, and then we're going to get a treasure token here, three mana here, sack the Ragavan, victimize it, and then we've got ourselves an old knob bone. Then we will go to our next turn. Boop. Treasure here. Or sorry, the, go, go there. And then we need a green source. Where's our green source? Yeah, right here. It's not a mountain. Okay, I can't grab that one. Oh, I can grab this one. There we go. And then we can one, two, three, four, play the Corvold, sacking the treasure token, and then sack the other treasure token on ETB. Boom, draw a card. And this is where it gets broken. We attack with Old Nabone, and we have seven treasure tokens, right? Busted. And then we're just going to go to our next turn. I know it seems weird, but we're not going to sack anything. We're just going to go to turn five, and then we can start doing some crazy things because we have treasure tokens. So let's go ahead and get them. This is going to get insane. So the first thing we're going to do, we have no extra combat spells. And this is just Corvold extra combats, but turns out when you have treasure tokens and extra combats, it's broken. So the first thing we're going to do is just sacrifice seven treasure tokens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven floating mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have Vampiric Tutor. So that's actually perfect. Now we can just play Vampiric Tutor, view, and then we need um, Seize the Day. Sorry, that's Seize the Spoils. It tricked me for a second. Seize the Day is one of the most broken cards in this deck and you're about to see why. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry. Um, I'll probably move my keyboard and uh, there we go. Seize the day. 
buy art. Cool. That'll go to the top of the library. I don't have any treasure tokens. And then now we spent that. So my understanding, if you crack the land, you pay life, sacrifice, search your library. I can't, okay, my bad. I can't remember if you get a draw before the search or after the search. I think it might be after. So we're just not gonna risk it here. Um, and then we'll just swing in with Corvold and um, Old Knobbone and that'll net us. Wait, we'll sack a land here. Draw the card, boom, we got Seize the Day. Imagine that, crazy, right? And then that will net us 13, 20 treasure tokens. I think you can kind of see where we're going with this deck. And then um, we're just going to go ahead and spend four of those treasure tokens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, look, another extra combat spell. And then um, F it. Let's spend four more treasure tokens. Four. One, two, three, four. We'll attack, kill one player. Then we'll flash back, seize the day, kill the other player, and then we'll... we'll um, discard two red cards for another combat step and kill that player. So again, turn five, everybody's dead, and we have all the treasure tokens in the world. Because again, when Corvold's connecting, we're getting treasure tokens, treasure tokens, treasure tokens. Pretty fun deck, but honestly, dude, this is not casual. This is turn five, right? It's not okay. So let's go ahead and go uh, get another one, right? Um, rest we'll just hit restart. Um, elves, halfling, not the fastest we don't have a way to get old knob on or anything in the graveyard we're just kind of going to be on top deck mode after we get corvold out am i okay with that we might take our free mulligan even though that's a really fast corvold reaver cleaver extra combat oh okay all right so we're gonna play here here get my draw because it's my turn oh and then into entomb okay okay it's forced, guys. We get the we get the win. Okay, and then we can even slam a Sylvan Library here. I think that's just always the right choice. Turn two, Sylvan Library. Next turn, draw three, because we are greedy. And then, dude, how did we not get? Oh, okay, we have land. We're gonna turn this over. One, two, three, four. Only four mana. Yeah, we'll just slam the Reaver Cleaver here, and then pray for a land. Yeah, we got there. So one, two, three, four, five. Slam Corvold, sack this, draw a card. Next turn, slam a land. And then we're going to one, two, three, equip the Reaver Cleaver, attack. Corvold will attack as a six. Corvold will be at seven power here because the Reaver Cleaver is giving him plus one. And then boom, we get seven treasure tokens. So now that we have seven treasure tokens, we're going to sack four of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have seven. So three, three treasure tokens left. Quick maths, right? And then we'll swing in again. So now 11 plus three. We've got um, 11 th plus three is not hard math. We've got 14. Okay, so now we've got 14 treasure tokens, and is that guy dead? Let's see, 11, and then we hit it. No, he's not dead yet, so he's not dead, all right, but that's okay. Um, we have 14 treasure tokens. Let's just sack four of them. One, two, three, four. And then we'll run out Seize the Day, which is um, draw two cards, create two treasure tokens. So we spent four treasure tokens, so we're at 12 now. And we'll one, two, three, four, so that's... Okay, cool. And I just realized we have Seize the Day in hand. We should not be doing this. Let's just fucking kill everybody, right? Um, so let's sack um, math. Thinking, sorry. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just count. Six treasure tokens. Now he's 21. Seize the Day. Attack one player. Uh, cast Seize the Day again. Now that we have 20 extra treasure tokens, kill the other player. And then we have... We can easily just uh, sack 20 treasure tokens and then cast Chandra's Ignition. Boom. Like I said, turn five. Not casual, not CEDH, and there's no fast man in this deck. Zero. I mean, okay, but to be fair, green kind of cheats because we get the mana dorks. So there's no fast mana, but there's turn one acceleration, which is kind of fast mana. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, yeah, the, the rules of the deck were... 
no um, fast mana. And I don't even think there's an infinite combo in here. Um, let me think. Am I running Aggravated Assault? If I'm okay, I'm running okay. There's one infinite combo in here that can go off a couple different ways. There's also Godo. Now, Godo's just in here because I thought it'd be kind of funny to um saw in half Godo and then you get Hammer of Nazan and then the Reaver Cleaver and then you just have protection for Korvold. Is that good? Not really, but is it fun? Yes. And like I said, I just tried to do it with minimal um combos. I'm pretty sure if you even take out Aggravated Assault, there's no infinite combos in this deck. But Korvold's just kind of busted. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know if you want to see me playtest any of my other decks. I'm really enjoying this. I really am. It's uh, it's just fun for me to show off the decks, how they're supposed to be played. Because I'm not going to lie, I get comments sometimes and people are like, this deck's not doing what I want it to do. What do you need me to do to power it up? And sometimes I'm like, I, I can't see if what you're doing with the deck, right? So I don't know. I've played against my own decks and I've known like... <sighs> Ooh, that's an iffy play. You know what I mean? So it's just cool for me to showcase my decks, how I would play them, and I'm enjoying it. So uh, like I said, leave comments down below if you guys want to see any of my other specific decks or want me to playtest any of my other specific decks. As always, thank you for watching. Um, I'd like to thank my patrons, especially my high-contributing ones, Excessum, Newsome, Chicken Salad. You guys are amazing. You keep the channel going. And all my other patrons that vote weekly on the weekly deck tech. If you want me to... Do something other than Ractus, go ahead and join the patron and start voting for something else. <laughs> As always, I hope this helped you in your deck building endeavors, and I will see you in the next one.